Hey, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. So, a lot of you have heard of the Arduino. Uh, this particular chip right here is the Arduino Nano, which gives me a dip package that makes it easier to work with on a breadboard. And what I've done here is just hooked it up to my computer via USB cable, which basically acts as a serial port device. And that allows me to send data to uh, this AY38910 chip, which is a common sound generator chip used in uh, some old computers and old video game consoles to give you that retro video game music sound. And to drive it, I needed a clock input for it. And typically, typically how that worked was that um, on the video driver circuitry that's inside of the video game consoles or old computers, it uses a NTSC color burst crystal which runs at 3.579545 megahertz that you can see right there. And in order to drive it, you this particular frequency is too high, so uh, what you're supposed to do is then divide that frequency by two, which uh, this little chip here helps me with. Uh, you can just ignore some of the other stuff that I have in here. This is just plugged in and doing nothing at the moment, and all this other stuff is just leftovers from other projects. And that's the sound generator chip itself. And up here, just a little audio amplifier circuit that allows me to drive uh, some old headphones that I have here. And I just have a couple wires hooked up to it right there. And then I just wrote a little csharp.net app here uh, that connects to it via serial port and uh, got a couple of the samples that they give you in the data sheets. Uh, so they have a sample for a gunshot, siren, wolf whistle, and race car. They're kind of lame and cheesy, but it allows you to get a quick start and make some sounds. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hold the headphones up close to the microphone here and play these little samples. And also I added this play note button which allows me to play a note uh, based on these sliders here. And uh, I have it set up to have an envelope shape that uh, gives it a warble kind of sound or an alternating sound. Uh, here you can hear what I mean by this. And the low notes on here don't sound very good, so as I get real low, it's like way too low to be decent. So right about here that it starts to sound decent. And the reason why I have two different sliders here for coarse and fine values in the data sheet, uh, you send a coarse and a fine value. Um, I probably could have combined this into one slider, but uh, I just wanted to make it easy. So that's pretty much it. I ha I'm trying to work on opening up uh, these AY files, which are which contain music. But the way that they're created is they are memory dumps from the ZX Spectrum computers. And there's not a whole lot of information on in how to parse these files and make the data from these memory dumps meaningful. So I'm having a little difficulty with that. Uh, so my next plan, is plan on this little program here will be to you have to read MIDI files, which there's plenty of documentation for, and just kind of play around with that. Um, maybe I'll, what I'll also do is allow it to play like a MIDI device, like a keyboard, and uh, just play some music that would pipe straight to this. So here it is again. And then instead of having these sliders, I replace them with some our MIDI device. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.